How's it going everybody? We are headed to a new location for us. We've never camped there before. It is Big Lake State Park in Crake, Missouri. So we've got about an hour and 20 minute drive till we get there and <coughs> bless you. <laughs> we'll see you soon. We are out here at Big Lake State Park. This place is gorgeous. It is a little windy, so let's forgive the wind. You know, my buddy Jason, together we are hosting the Midwest Bushcraft Show coming up here April 22nd. Check out that swag. Sweet decals. And look at Jason's L.L. Bean pack. That thing is sweet. Keegan went to go find a restroom and he's not having any luck so he's gonna have to use our porta potty that we have and we're gonna get our tent set up. So I just added the new Midwest Bushcraft Show sticker to the pick em up truck. And I like it. Keegan needs to use the restroom and all the restrooms here are closed. Two energy drinks, one soda, one burger, and another burger. So we have a portable bathroom that his older brother bought me for Christmas. And you know what? We're just going to show you guys what it's all about. No, we have not. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's called Insta Privy. Insta Privy. Yeah, so. It pops out, oh, okay. and you, uh, you set it on your head. There's a there's a grip in here. Put it on your head. I don't know. So just, you just go in. Yep, you just okay. go get in it, and uh, then you would essentially <laughs> squat. How are you doing in there? Do I get to sit on something at least? Yes, you get to sit on the on the privy, which is protected in here get your toilet tissue put these on here to protect the edges are you just hanging out on the ground right now well I mean so you put this guy down like so. I mean, that's that's pretty fancy. Oh, we got a. This thing has bags right here. They're waste bags, and you just line the toilet with them, and reliable waste bags. Oh, and then there's even a nice little. What are you doing in that tent over there? Everybody knows what you're doing. Yeah, what are you doing over there? And this is a disposal bag. And it has super absor absorbent gel pads. Man, this thing is... Wow. This is, this is fancy. In the middle of the night, all you guys are going to hear is... That's weird. <laughs> So this knife that Keegan's wearing, and I love a neck knife. Hence, Urban patch knife by Campcraft Outdoors. That's why I'm wearing a, a <laughs> knife that's called the what? Urban patch knife by Campcraft Outdoors. Yeah, and they're uh, one of our one of our sponsors for the Midwest Bushcraft Show. So that's pretty awesome. Pull that sucker out. Let me see it. Ooh. Ooh, that is nice. Like it? It's light. Yeah, it's very light. We're giving away three of them at the event. Jason says we're doing what? We're giving away three of those at the Midwest Bushcraft Show. That's right. Here is camp. Got the chuck box up. Lux Octopeak. Jason's got his Kelty up over there. Just fooling around. We're gonna go ahead and put this JC Pennies 
Sports Center. It is a nylon pup tent. Nylon pup tent. Nylon pup style mountain tent. Five by seven. JC Sports Center. I yep. have no idea. I've never opened it. I, it doesn't even look like it's ever been opened to begin with. I don't know. I had a piece of tape over. I bought it at a thrift store for under ten dollars. So Jason has has me drinking a little bit of this. It's a Shiner Bock. It's Shiner Trail Ale, and it is trail mix inspired ale. Six percent alcohol, brewed with ale brewed with chocolate nuts, dried fruit, with natural added flavors. It tastes like a chocolate beer. Yeah, it was half off. That's why I bought it. It was, <laughs> it was ten dollars on sale for five dollars. But it. How's your carving going over there? I'm just trying to carve the stick. I'm not trying to make it look fancy or anything. It looks nice. But the, uh, this is definitely something different. Definitely you can taste the chocolate is the most prominent thing. Yeah, it's very, very chocolatey. I'm gonna drink this and uh, gonna get making some, making some dinner. Diced roasted garlic tomatoes. Go ahead and dump half of it in there. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. So this is actually Southwest corn. It has uh, poblano and red peppers in there with the corn. It's got a great flavor. So we're gonna pour that once he gets it drained out. You want it all the way drained out? Yeah, drain that one out. We don't want to use any of that, that moisture. And for future reference, if you're ever like draining your food near your, where you're camping, usually you drain that near the water so the way you don't bring flies to where you're eating. Yep. <laughs> okay. So go ahead, dump your corn in. How much? You tell me how much. You tell me when you think it looks like it, like it's good enough. That looks good. Okay. You want a little bit more? You sure? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Next, pasta sauce. Yeah, I think I want a little bit too much sauce. No, no, you don't because it's all going to be absorbed. Good job. It's a really simple recipe, right? I don't even know if it's going to work. I hope it's going to work. Come on. When have you ever eaten bad with me outdoors? All the time. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll grab it, bud. Uh, if Jason could be a, a deer and hand me that lid. So I'm only going to put like, that is still not that much right there. Line the top. I don't want that. Okay, Keegan just pulled off the top. It looks pretty good. So he is recording on his own YouTube channel. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> For uh, what's the name of your YouTube channel, Keegan? Wabash Bushcraft. Wabash Bushcraft. I have to say I like that because if I don't, it just sounds weird. So let's see how his goulash is coming. Oh man, it's oh. See, you're definitely my son. I dropped it too. It's probably still a little al dente. You tell me, how does the pasta? How does the pasta feel? Mm, uh, definitely. Oh, uh, that's steaming in my mouth. It's what? Steaming in my mouth. Steaming in your mouth. But it does taste good. I can tell you guys that. Oh, it tastes great. A little more time though. A little more. He can pull the lid off the goulash oh that looks great 
He's gonna put some cheese on it here next. So I had Keegan go ahead and make dinner tonight. The biggest reasoning behind having my son make dinner is I spent years cooking with these guys in the outdoors. So to have them do the cooking now is absolutely awesome. So it, yeah, the, <laughs> he's already <laughs> taller than me, I think so. But it warms my heart that, that you're doing the cooking now and if it didn't have the ingredients, I still wouldn't know how to cook it. But you're learning, and that's that's the whole process. It's I don't know how to make toast. He doesn't know how to make toast. But here's the deal: I can cook a great meal outdoors. My wife throws it down in the kitchen, hundred percent. But when we do outdoor cooking or smoking or barbecuing, I usually do that. This guy. So trying to teach my kids kind of the ropes on all this stuff so he will be having uh probably more content on his cooking than i do on his youtube channel or what's your youtube channel called wabash bushcraft <laughs> right, it's called wabash bushcraft wabash bushcraft i'll put a link in the description just so you guys are aware but uh pretty soon in about what five ten minutes we're gonna give this goulash a try and uh See how we like it. No! Oh, it's fine. There's oh, yeah, it is fine. It. it looks great. Good job. That looks good. Oh. Give me the spoon. Ooh, good job. All right, All right Keegan. Dude, my first bite rule. My first bite rule. My dad invented it. Not literally, but. First bite rule. I get the cheese in there and everything. There you go. That's kind of hot. It is. First bite for goulash, this is Dutch oven goulash. It is cheesy the way you wanted it. <laughs> Good. What do you think, Jason? I put some hot sauce on it. And it's yeah. really good. It's really good yeah. with hot sauce. Yep. Is it good with the cheese or diet too much? No, it's good. Yeah. Recipe goes. Well, Keegan, you make a good goulash. Mm -hmm. Well done. Jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was my fist pump. Well done. It's good, man. So the wind has completely died down. Let me give you guys a little bit of view of our camp here. It is absolutely beautiful. Got the Lux Octopeak, the Boy Scout JC Penny's tent, Jason's Kelty. Keegan and Jason are enjoying the goulash Keegan made. And just look at that water. This is not a bad place to camp. This is Big Lake State Park in Missouri kind of odd to be camping over here and then see these houses across the way it's kind of like camping on that middle wall kind of is used to. but it's very peaceful here very peaceful where are we going Rah! where do you go grab some more wood more wood we got a little bit but <laughs> probably because I, mean, I didn't grab any no, I realized when we got back there, I was the only person that carried wood. Look, look at the water line on the trees. Yeah, look at the water line on the trees. Come over here and stand over here by this one. See how, how uh, deep this water was at one time when it flooded. Yeah, that would have been kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. This is like some horror movie. And you're like 5'10. I'm actually 6'10. Okay.
joking, but now I have to do it. Ah. I take the belt off. Not belt. Good job. All right, so we'll cut this stuff up and we should have plenty of firewood for tonight. This is like four o'clock in the afternoon. So I was dealing with that. I was already mad because it was my birthday and that's my moonshine that I brought for my birthday that he drank. <laughs> so we, we sat up for a while. That... So we held down the fire as long as we could. It's raining now on us and uh, it's after midnight. So gonna head to bed. Good morning. Did you sleep good, Keegan? I'm still sleeping. <laughs> In case you couldn't hear him, he said, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, start the stove up and get some tea going. If I get it nice and warm, maybe I'll be able to knock off some of this uh, moisture because the tent's wet. Got the uh, tent flap opened. Wind's getting pretty strong outside again. Got my second cup of tea going. Keegan's still sleeping. Jason's out there hanging out. Yeah. Because it's a little cramped in here for him. It's uh It's not a huge hot tent, but as you can tell from the wind, it's fairly windy out there right now. Yes. However, it's probably what what do you think it is out there? 40 degrees? Yeah, at the most. 40 degrees out there, probably. 80 in here. <laughs> Such a crazy dynamic. It is still windy out there, man. Tents going. Nice and warm in here. Somebody's still sleeping. But it's only 10 o'clock, so I'm not overly concerned about that. I'm just sitting here drinking tea. Jason had to head out. Um, he was having some battery issues. Uh, with his car battery kept dying i gave him two different jump starts to get him going or i gave him a jump start last night just to get his his car running and gave him another jump start so he could get out of here so he's going to go and get that taken care of now we'll be hanging out again here soon at our midwest bushcraft show uh april 22nd i'll put down some links and some descriptions in there and i'm also going to throw a video out um just to kind of you know, introduce the Midwest Bushcraft Show just as a reminder so everybody knows about it. Jason's gonna do the same thing and uh, I'll share that information on here as well. I am gonna get this tent blazing hot inside for this guy when he wakes up and um, we're gonna get some breakfast going. Yeah, breakfast sounds good. Cheers. That is a good strong cup of tea, huh? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. It's hot, isn't it? <laughs> I'm cold, so this is good. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna eat it right out of this guy. Since no sense in getting another dish dirty. Keegan took the first bite rule for himself on his channel. 
So we didn't forget it, guys. We just had to post it to his. Here we go. Mmm. Yeah. It's not too hot, is it? Nope. It's got a great... I'm going to do a second bite here. Mm-hmm. The potatoes are still hot, though. They're like little bombs. Little bombs of heat. They're good. We're heading out of camp in kind of an emergency because somebody has to use the restroom. <laughs> And since this whole park is closed, the restrooms, none of them are opened up. So we are packed up and headed to a gas station. Are you going to tell them about the dirty toilet paper that started coming our way? Oh yeah, that's gross, but I'll tell them. So we were uh, <laughs> packing up and toilet paper started coming our direction. But it wasn't just any toilet paper, it was poopy toilet paper. There's crap all over it. And it was coming down, like downwind towards us. And we had to step around it for a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I will pick up. But I'm not picking that up. And I even cleaned our area that we camped up, that we camped in, picked that up a lot better than it was. And it wasn't bad. There was just some weird stuff, random things, like a sock. So, yeah. But crappy toilet paper super windy yeah i'm not picking that one up i don't know where it blew in from but it was nasty nasty i say nasty but at any rate thanks everyone for coming along and hanging out with us we are gonna get out of here and we'll see you guys in the next video bye